It's the second day we're out here. I brought my uncle's truck out. Because it's going to get really cold. So that way we have a place to warm up. That's the factory. I've already brought out quite a few logs. So. And over there we've made quite a trail. Like we've cleared quite a bit. It's a big difference from what it what we started. So the trucks over there and then the log piles over there. My dad brought the quad because I did not th we were kind of skeptical that my uncle's truck could even get here. But it the snow is it's kind of like grippy because it's it's below zero. I think it's about five below. And look at how far we've gotten this trail in here. And look at how much of a difference. That was all brush and stumps and trees. And I can't believe how good of a trail we got in there. It was not, not even a bulldozer, just a tractor. That was, I just found that so fascinating how, like, look at all that, like, little trees in there and that log in the way and just, like, stumps and more dead logs. And look at how big of a difference that is. That's just a... You can see all those rotten trees. And dude, it's just amazing. Like, look at how much rubble there is in that bush. And I pushed a whole trail in there with the tractor. That's not, I mean, a lot of it was pretty rotten. So it was pretty easy for the tractor. But it's just a big difference because this has always been bush. And now there's like a camping ground in there. With nothing but a tractor. Now I clear this whole area. I got this whole area up here cleared. And, I, and then there's that big pile. And there's the helper. And we're gonna cut this, cut that log and move it. And then there's some more. There's lots of, like, my plan is to pull more trees out of here so we'll clear get this log out of here and then get a few others and then see if i can kind of clear it in here a bit and then back the tractor pull those ones down down there and then grab the other end of them and pull them out there and yeah I, and then i think you know those big ones if i can get those down in the right place like this one here it wants to fall down in a good place if I can get these ones down, that's good. That's good firewood. It might even be good lumber. And my uncle is saying, if you see any good ones for lumber, get them. So, we'll see. So I'm going to title this video Day 2 of Getting Firewood. But actually, maybe I should title it Day 3. Because there was one day where it was kind of windy. And this is the one... Well, I didn't have my tripod, so that's why I didn't film anything for that one day. And I regret doing that. That was kind of a, you know, it was windy. And I just wanted to get the job done. So I, and it did go a lot faster not filming, but still it was, I kind of wish I had filmed that. I'm not, I'm going to try to never let that happen again where I always film. Because I think these videos are really entertaining and, it's quite satisfying actually so and then this kind of teaches people what we do as well
the bottom, all you gotta do is push it. And now, getting this one up here, I think I'll have to get these two small logs out. And then pull that one. Yeah, and this one. So, to get this one out, I think what I gotta do is I get some I get these out of here and then maybe get some dirt or something. And then I gotta send them back to tractor to see if um, like, like right in here. And so I can kinda lift it up a bit and move it. Pull it kind of beside here. If not, then I'll have to cut through that stump. It's a big stump, it'll take a while. But So I'm going to try to pull, lift this up like a crane and then back it, and then back it as far as it'll, it'll go. And then this log will slide back and then, uh, I can maybe do that a few times. The battery's about to die on here, so I can't film everything, but it just kind of keep moving it down and then I'll cut it off when I can't really get it down any farther. And then we'll pull this chunk out and then the next chunk that I cut off, we can bring that in here and do the same thing. For this one, I may just, I think I'll just cut the stump off or you try to get around it or cut the stump off. These ones are small, but we'll bring them.
well, this is day three of pulling out logs. I'm making a whole series on uh, this load of firewood. I may not film every load of firewood, but no, I, I think pulling trees out of the bushes. Uh, I mean, this is, we're doing this actually quite a big, on a quite a bigger scale than we usually do. Like, this is a big amount of, this is the biggest amount of logs I think I've ever pulled out at once for firewood. I mean, some of them may be for lumber, but I think that's pretty much it for this video.